How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I am doing some work at the hangar and I thought to myself, I have not made a video about one of the most important aspects of this airplane and that is my propeller, the Airmaster prop. A lot of you have followed my journey from getting my kit to building the plane and I've made a series of videos talking about different components but I don't think I've talked much about the propeller itself which is actually one of the reasons why I decided to build a Sling TSI. Believe it or not, when I was first looking to do this, I did consider all the airplanes. And the TSI to me was the most automated when it comes to the operation of the airplane. When you think of the Rotax 915, which I talked in detail about, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. And the 915 having a turbo engine, but also has a FADEC basically automation uh, things are done for you all the operation of the engine and management of the engine flow it's all done by a computer now you pair that with a propeller that does pretty much the same thing and you have a perfect match and these two factors played into the reason why i actually went for this airplane compared to anything else in the market so let me explain how this propeller actually works to give you all of the performance that you get with this airplane so let's take a few step back when you think of any airplane, conventional, whatever you have in the market today, you typically will have two different type of prop. You have a fixed pitch prop, which is basically self-explanatory. The pitch of the blade and angle of the blade is fixed. You can't do nothing about it. Okay, and you usually have that with older planes or maybe light sport airplane, those are fixed. And you have what's called a constant speed prop. A constant speed prop basically gives the pilot the freedom to change the blade angle of the airplane or of the propeller in order to match your RPM or the speed of the engine. And this is a beautiful thing because it basically gives you more efficiency or better performance uh, whenever you're flying. A simpler way to think of a constant speed prop is think of your manual gear shifter in a car. Okay, when you have a stick shift, you're changing from one gear to another. And the reason or the objective behind a gear shifter in a car is so that you can match your engine speed with the road speed. It's something, it's basically a similar concept when you think of a constant speed propeller. Now, when you think of the constant speed prop in your conventional airplane, most of those systems are based on oil pressure. So the way that works is you actuate a lever in the cockpit and depending on how much you pull back or you push forward, you release oil pressure. And then oil pressure is what pushes or pulls your piston that then changes the blade angle of your propeller for you. Now it's very mechanical. The difference with an Airmaster prop is all of that is done automatically. You basically have a computer that does all of that for you through an electric motor. So instead of me having to push and pull a lever in my cockpit and then oil pressure being released and then pistons pushing and pulling, none of that I have to worry about zero, okay? This system is fully automated where all I have to do is just hit a switch, take off, climb, cruise, whatever flight phase that I'm in, I just hit a switch and boom, the propeller does what it does best. And to give an example, the way I fly this airplane, I generally will have the airplane or the switch on takeoff whenever I'm taking off. Once I climb to my pattern altitude or 500 feet above, I change to climb and boom, my RPM changes and I'm climbing to my cruise altitude. Once I get to cruise altitude now, normally, you change the propeller again to cruise, which is a setting that's already in the airplane. But guess what? I actually don't change it to cruise. I leave it in climb mode because I get the best fuel efficiency whenever I have it in climb and I just control my power in the airplane. With my climb RPM, I usually set the power to about 70% and that gives me the best fuel efficiency in this airplane. I usually burn seven gallons of fuel in this airplane and that's doing about 145 knots true. Depending on what the wind is doing, I can get up to 170 knots in cruise. Some days if I have some headwind, then I'm back to like 125 knots. But if you're traveling east, you probably get some good tailwinds. But ultimately, this propeller makes it so much easier for me to fly this airplane. And it's actually, again, one of the reasons why I built a Sling TSI. When you compare it to just about anything else in the market right now, I think this is the best value that you get for the money. As you keep watching the channel, you see a lot more flight videos. And what I'll try to do actually whenever I'm flying is just explain to you what's going on. So you would see this propeller in action 
and again it just it takes all of the workload away from me where i don't have to mess with anything i set my control switch when i'm taking off and when i get to my cruise altitude and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about the airplane or the prop system be sure to leave in the comments below and i will catch you all on the next video peace